Every sign of alien life NASA is actually looking for might surprise you. They're not just listening for radio signals anymore, folks. In fact, just weeks ago, NASA announced that Perseverance found what could be the strongest evidence yet of ancient Martian life in a leopard-spotted rock they're calling Chayava Falls. But here's the kicker. While we're getting tantalizingly close to finding our cosmic neighbors, the real search has gone way beyond what science fiction promised us. NASA is now hunting for everything from alien pollution to massive star-sized megastructures. And the shocking truth is, they might have already found something they're not ready to fully explain. So let's talk about what NASA's really looking for out there in the universe. And trust me, it's way more fascinating than little green men with big heads and probe obsessions. The first thing you need to understand is that NASA scientists, including prominent astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Charles Liu, who've been on this beat for decades, aren't just randomly pointing telescopes at the sky hoping to catch E.T. phoning home. They've got a systematic approach, and it starts with something called biosignatures. Now, a biosignature is basically any substance or phenomenon that provides scientific evidence of past or present life. Think of it like forensic science in space. We're looking for the fingerprints life leaves behind. And the beautiful thing about this approach is that it's based on the one example of life we know works, us. As scientists love to point out, life on Earth is made from the most common chemically active elements in the universe, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. We're literally made of star stuff, the most abundant star stuff at that. So if you're an alien civilization on some distant world, chances are you're cooking with the same basic ingredients. Here's where it gets interesting. NASA's approach to finding these biological calling cards has evolved dramatically over the past few years. They're not just looking for oxygen in alien atmospheres anymore, though that's still on the list. They're looking for combinations of gases that shouldn't exist together without life stirring the pot. Imagine finding a planet with both oxygen and methane in its atmosphere. On their own, no big deal. Together, that's like finding fresh cookies on the counter. Someone's been baking. Hey, if you're enjoying this detective story so far, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're about to dive into some incredible stuff that NASA discovered just this year, including potential alien technology signatures that'll make you question everything. And trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming up about Dyson spheres and alien megastructures. All right, buckle up because this is where things get really wild. NASA has recently embraced something called technosignatures, basically the technological fingerprints of advanced civilizations. And I'm not just talking about radio signals here, though SETI is still plugging away at that noble endeavor. We're talking about searching for alien pollution, massive structures built around stars, and even the exhaust trails of interstellar spacecraft. Let me paint you a picture Imagine an alien civilization that's maybe a few thousand years ahead of us technologically. What would they leave behind that we could detect from light years away? Well, according to Ravi Kalparapu at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, one thing might be nitrogen dioxide pollution. Yeah, you heard that right. We're looking for alien smog. It's actually brilliant when you think about it. During the COVID lockdowns, our satellites watched Earth's pollution levels drop in real time. So why not look for the same thing on distant planets? But wait, it gets even crazier. Remember those Dyson spheres I mentioned? These are theoretical megastructures that an advanced civilization might build around their star to harvest its energy. Imagine wrapping the sun in solar panels. That's the basic idea. And here's the intriguing bit. Fermilab has been searching for these things since 2005, and they've found 17 ambiguous candidates. 17. Now, before you get too excited, ambiguous is scientists speak for, we're not sure what we're looking at, but still, 17 unexplained infrared sources that could potentially be alien megastructures? Four of these have been called amusing, but still questionable by researchers. That's the kind of thing that keeps me up at night. 
The approach to finding these technological breadcrumbs has gotten sophisticated. In 2023, researchers using machine learning to analyze data from the Green Bank Telescope found eight promising signals from 820 nearby stars. Signals that don't match any known natural phenomena or human interference. These stars are between 30 and 90 light years away, practically next door in astronomical terms. Now let's bring this back home. Well, to our planetary neighborhood at least. Mars has always been the crown jewel of our search for alien life, and for good reason. It's close enough to study in detail, and billions of years ago, it had liquid water, a thick atmosphere, and possibly even a magnetic field. In other words, it was a lot like Earth. This past July, NASA's Perseverance rover made what might be the discovery of the century. In a region called Bright Angel, they found this rock, Chayava Falls, that's got these weird leopard spots all over it. Now I know what you're thinking, so what? It's a spotty rock, but here's the thing. These spots contain organic carbon, sulfur, and phosphorus in patterns that, on Earth, we only see when microbes have been at work. The science team, led by Joel Hurowitz from Stony Brook University, found that these spots could be the leftover traces of ancient microbial meals. Imagine bacteria billions of years ago, munching away on chemicals in the Martian mud, leaving behind these distinctive patterns like breadcrumbs. NASA's being appropriately cautious. They're not claiming they've found life, just potential biosignatures. The rock sample, nicknamed Sapphire Canyon, is now sitting in a tube on Mars, waiting to be brought back to Earth for more detailed analysis. This is following what scientists call the gold standard of evidence, which means they're being incredibly thorough before making any claims. What makes this discovery particularly exciting is how NASA approached it. They used multiple instruments on Perseverance, PIXL, Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, and SHERLOC, Scanning Habitable Environments, with Raman and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals, to analyze the rock from every possible angle. These aren't just fancy acronyms, they're sophisticated tools that can detect chemical signatures at the microscopic level. Speaking of bringing things back to Earth, if you're finding this as fascinating as I am, drop a comment below about what kind of alien life you think we'll find first. Microbes on Mars or signals from advanced civilizations? And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up to help spread the word about humanity's search for extraterrestrial neighbors. Let's zoom out from Mars for a second and talk about the bigger picture. When NASA searches for life beyond our solar system, they focus on something called the habitable zone, or as I like to call it, the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for liquid water. But here's where recent discoveries have gotten really interesting. We used to think life needed a planet exactly like Earth, orbiting a star exactly like our sun. Turns out, we might have been thinking too small. NASA's found that red dwarf stars, which make up about 75% of all stars in our galaxy, might be perfect hosts for life-bearing planets. These stars are smaller and cooler than our sun, but they're also incredibly stable and can shine for trillions of years. That's a lot of time for life to evolve and potentially develop intelligence. Take K 2-18b, for example. This exoplanet made headlines when the James Webb Space Telescope detected potential biosignatures in its atmosphere. It's what we call a sub-Neptune, or super-Earth, bigger than our planet but smaller than Neptune, and it might have the right conditions for life. Some scientists have detected what could be dimethyl sulfide in its atmosphere, a gas that on Earth is only produced by life. NASA's being careful about confirming this, but if true, it would be the first detection of a potential biosignature on an exoplanet. Now here's something that's completely changed how NASA searches for alien life. Extremophiles. These are organisms on Earth that thrive in conditions that would kill you and me in seconds. We're talking about creatures living in boiling acid pools in Yellowstone, in the frozen valleys of Antarctica, and around superheated vents on the ocean floor 
where the pressure would crush a submarine like a soda can. The discovery and study of extremophiles has blown the lid off what we thought was possible for life. These discoveries force us to expand our definition of habitable environments. If life can survive in battery acid on Earth, why not in the methane lakes of Titan? If microbes can live miles underground in solid rock here, why not in the subsurface oceans of Europa or Enceladus? This is why NASA is getting so excited about ocean worlds in our own solar system. Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, has more water than all of Earth's oceans combined, hidden beneath a shell of ice. Enceladus, orbiting Saturn, is literally spraying water into space from geysers at its south pole. These geysers contain organic molecules and all the chemical ingredients necessary for life as we know it. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, which launched on October 14, 2024, will arrive at Jupiter in April 2030. It'll make 49 flybys of Europa, flying through these plumes and tasting them, looking for biosignatures. The spacecraft had to use a Mars gravity assist in March 2025 to help it on its way. Pretty wild that we're using one planet to slingshot ourselves to another moon. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. There's been a lot of buzz lately about UFOs, or as the government prefers to call them now, UAPS, Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena. NASA's even got an official stance on these now, with their own investigations and research programs. The All-Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, headed by John Koslowski, is actively investigating these phenomena. Here's the thought-provoking bit. Some researchers believe NASA and other agencies might have already found evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence, but are taking a measured approach to disclosure. Think about it. If you had proof of alien life, would you just dump it on humanity all at once? Or would you slowly prepare people for the revelation? The recent acknowledgement of UAPS by the military, NASA's increased funding for technosignature research, and the steady stream of potential biosignature discoveries might be part of a larger pattern. Now, I'm not saying NASA's hiding aliens in Area 51, but consider the evidence we've discussed. Those eight unexplained signals from nearby stars, the 17 infrared sources that might be Dyson spheres, the potential biosignatures on Mars and distant exoplanets. Individually, each could be explained away, but together, Together, they paint a picture of a universe that's probably teeming with life. Let's get into the nitty-gritty of how NASA actually searches for these signs of life. It's not just pointing telescopes randomly at the sky and hoping for the best. They've got multiple approaches running simultaneously, like a multi-pronged investigation. First, there's direct imaging and spectroscopy. When an exoplanet passes in front of its star, some of the star's light filters through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing this light, scientists can determine what gases are present. It's like identifying someone by their unique signature. The James Webb Space Telescope is absolutely revolutionizing this field, with sensitivity that makes Hubble look like a kid's toy telescope. Then, there's the search for technological signatures. NASA's Nick Siegler and his team at JPL have cataloged more than 40 different technosignature investigations. They're looking for everything from artificial lighting on the night side of planets to gamma ray emissions that might indicate antimatter rockets. Some scientists are even proposing we look for planets arranged in prime number patterns around a star. Because what better way to signal intelligence than with math that nature doesn't do? An approach that's gaining traction is looking for megastructures in transit. Imagine an alien civilization built a massive triangle or some other geometric shape that orbits their star. Every time it passes in front of the star from our perspective, we'd see a very distinctive light pattern. Natural objects don't make perfect triangles. This might sound far-fetched, but remember, we're looking for intelligence that could be millions of years more advanced than us. To them, building planet-sized structures might be like us building a shopping mall. So where does NASA go from here? Well, 
the next decade is going to be absolutely crucial for the search for alien life. The samples from Mars that Perseverance is collecting will be returned to Earth, hopefully by the early 2030s. When they get here, we'll be able to analyze them with instruments far more sensitive than anything we could send to Mars. If there's fossilized microbial life in those rocks, we'll find it. The Europa Clipper will reach Jupiter's moon in 2030 and start its detailed survey of that ice-covered ocean world. If there's life in those dark waters, we might get our first hints of it within the decade. And here's something cool. NASA's developing technology for missions that could actually penetrate Europa's ice shell and swim in its ocean. Imagine the live stream from that submarine. On the techno signature front, things are heating up even faster. The next generation of telescopes, including the proposed LUVOIR, Large UVOIR Surveyor, will be able to directly image Earth-sized planets around nearby stars and analyze their atmospheres in unprecedented detail. We're talking about being able to see city lights on a planet orbiting Alpha Centauri, if they exist. But here's the real game changer. NASA's also working on artificial intelligence systems that can identify potential biosignatures and technosignatures that we might not even recognize. These AI systems are trained on patterns of life on Earth, but are designed to identify anomalies that don't fit any known natural processes. In other words, we're building machines to find the kinds of life we can't even imagine. Look, I'll level with you. In all of human history, we've never been closer to answering that ultimate question. Are we alone? NASA's multi-pronged approach Searching for everything from microbes to megastructures has the best chance of success we've ever had. Many scientists believe it's not a question of if we'll find alien life, but when. The evidence is mounting. The potential biosignatures on Mars, the unexplained infrared sources that might be Dyson spheres, the mysterious UAPs that even the government can't explain, the organic molecules on distant exoplanets. Individually, each of these could be explained away. But together? Together they suggest a universe that's probably teeming with life. And here's the thing that keeps me up at night with excitement. We might be the generation that finally gets the answer. Our parents looked up at the stars and wondered. Our kids might look up and know. NASA's not just searching for signs of alien life anymore, they're systematically checking off every possible signature, from the microscopic to the megalithic. Whether it's microbes in Martian mud, organisms swimming in Europa's dark oceans, or advanced civilizations building Dyson spheres around distant stars, the signs are out there. NASA's looking for them all, and honestly, I'd bet my telescope that they'll find something definitive within the next 20 years. The universe is just too big, too old, and too weird for us to be alone. All right, space fans, if you made it this far, you're clearly as obsessed with this stuff as I am. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because we're living in the most exciting time in the history of space exploration. Every week brings new discoveries, new missions, and new possibilities. Next week, we're diving into the James Webb Space Telescope's most shocking discoveries that NASA didn't expect, including some findings that are literally rewriting our physics textbooks. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into NASA's alien hunt, check out our video on the five places in our solar system most likely to harbor alien life. Europa's on the list, but number one will absolutely surprise you. Until then, keep looking up, Stay curious, and remember, the truth isn't just out there, it's probably closer than you think. Peace out, space cadets!